Uh, welcome gamers to Blood West. Blood West is a very critically acclaimed game, not all that popular at this stage, uh, which is still in early access and uh, what the developers are doing is sort of bringing out uh, chapter after chapter. And the next chapter is coming out in about a week's time at time of releasing this particular video. I'm actually recording this maybe two or three weeks ahead, so it may change a little bit, but having said that, I won't be able to show the, the new chapter because I'm so bad at these sort of games. I'm only on, I've, I've struggled to get past it, well, into chapter one, not even past it. I just, uh, but I thought I'd just play for a little bit of time, show you what the game's like. Uh, some of you may like it, some of you may not. It's not my usual fare for this channel. It's not like a, a strategy game as such, but it is a, a stealth first person shooter set in the old wild west where uh, the undead have sort of taken over. Um, let's just get started with a new game. And uh, before I get started, a uh, th special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Blah, blah, blah. We'll just press escape. Sorry, I'll just go and get or click on that one just to bypass. I'll, uh, that cutscene is really quite nicely done. Um, yeah, anyway, special thank you to anyone who does support the channel. I do want to sort of mention that. And not blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I said that. I think I was just trying to think, oh, when should I cut off this, uh, this image? Thank you if you do support the channel on Patreon, uh, coffee.com, um, channel memberships, channel memberships now, of course. If you are a channel member, you've probably been watching this video um, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> or a couple of weeks in advance of when it's actually going to be scheduled to be released. Uh, so uh, so anyway, um, Blood West, what is it? So essentially you, you end up being taken back, um, like dragged up this hill by uh, that, that cut soon as an Indian shaman. Uh, or a Native American shaman. I'm not sure what the PC word is for um, uh, for that now. So anyway, like when I grew up, it was Indian. So anyway, I'll just I'll just I'll be I'll be sort of defaulting to that. I'm guessing just out of habit, out of bad habits. All right. So um, so welcome to Blood West. So we'll just go and click on dismiss. Uh, so you get buried. You get taken up to here. Actually, as sort of like a bit of a burial chamber, and then you've just got a little bit of work that you can then go and do. And and essentially, you sort of start off in this sort of permanent twilight. Um, everything is sort of permanent twilight, and through here, and we just use WASD keys to move. This is really just the um, the tutorial. But I thought I'd actually just go through. It and I'll skip past all these messages. The for you and a for th there we go. We'll just do that. The, the, the voice acting is good, I've got to say. Okay, control. Now, we do have to sneak past different different um, baddies. So you can use control or C to toggle sneaking. So we'll just go and press C and we'll sort of sneak down. There's one there, sort of shambling around. Now, what I want to do is now, when I go back out, see how the, the hearing comes up. Uh, say out of sight, you notice the detection meter at the bottom. So see how hearing goes up. If I move into where he can see me, sight comes up. Now I don't want him to see me, so I just need to sort of stay out of sight. So it's, it's it really is a sort of a bit of a stealth game like this. You now he's going to shamble through. Now the reason I'm going up this way is that there is actually a um, there is a, uh, a a piece of loot back over here that I want to want to go and grab quickly before he gets there. Just Maybe grab F, and he's now shambling around here. We'll just sort of stay behind him. So we'll crouch down, and we just get safely up the top. So what we just picked up there was just a uh, health potion come through in here. Now there's loot, loot sort of hidden everywhere. So while we're just sort of sneaking around, we'll just go and grab this. So I've just pressed F, I just pick it up. Um, and it's all useful. Everything you find is actually useful. Now we have to drop down into here. Uh, there's a weapon down the bottom there. Now this is not a great weapon. Just drop down to the bottom. Just don't think there's anything else up that way. So again, it's just press up F uh, and then we have to press I to go for the infantry. inventory. Uh, just press I. That becomes our primary weapon, so we just throw that one in there. We did pick up a health potion. I'll just move the health potion across to there, into our belt. So if I press number four, I pick up, or sorry, number three, is it? Yeah, pick up the health potion, which I don't need, of course. And number one, primary weapon. Now, I'm going to have combat up here fairly soon. So uh, slot, these are the tools, the slots. So again, I'm just going to go and pre uh, press Whatever F. It is, it's mine now. And just drag that one. Actually, I might put that into three, that one into four. Um, now, there's different areas. Always look down those little hidden areas. Something, there's nothing in that one. But there quite often is. Even hidden behind 
other little areas. There's a, there's a lot of hidden stuff when you first start this one off. Now, this, here we go with a fight. So we have to actually do this particular fight. Now, there's a few little things we can do here. There's two of them in here that we have to go and get rid of. Just coming back our way. So we, we want to wait for him to... Now, if I press the E, I can then just sort of move in and out of out of there. Wait till he turns around. There he goes. I'm just right clicking. They don't notice when each other have been killed. Okay, so we just do it this way, and then we just always loot. Loot is so important. Great, those healing potions are quite, there's, there's quite a lot in, in them. Uh, there's heavy drops, so just be careful, you will kill yourself. Actually, there's a, um, there's another way down. That's interesting, there's a, yeah, I think we go down there a different way. Let's just go this way to start with. Again, search everything. Yeah, this takes us down underneath and then back through here again. Yep, so that's just what we're looking down. Just, again, look everywhere. Now, this here is awesomely good. That's just that knife. So I'm going to be mainly using the knife. But let's just quickly go back to our inventory and change our main weapon to the, uh, to the sawn off shotgun. And then we use the knife. Now, this is much, much faster. So this is actually a rusty knife. Damage from the primary attack is 5, damage from the secondary attack is 15. But um, in this case, the Rusty Axe, even though it does more damage, it's actually slower to, um, to, to, to use. So let's just go back. Now, see how it's got in the bottom right corner there, 0 or 4. So we need to just press R and reload it. And I'll just make sure, yeah, I was still crouching. I'll just keep crouched while I'm going through all of this. But that's, this is now, now we're set. With that rusty knife, in fact, I'm just going to grab the knife, number two, and we'll just search everything. There's something that just highlights, yeah, these, these little notes and things. Pick them up and go to inventory, click on them and read them. Read the notes. So, um, the animated dead, similarly minus creatures, blah, 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 blah. It says, while the pitiful creatures do not pose a serious threat to the experienced hunter, only a fool would be disregarded the entire group of them. When they, do not, when they do notice a living being, they try to tear it apart with their claws. At times, they may perform a charge, displaying a remarkable speed that, that may prove fatal to a fledgling hunter. So th that's really what... So we pick up information about the different undead that we come across. Now, we've just gone up to there. Let's have a quick look over the edges. Just see if there's anything. No, nothing over there that we can actually go and do. So uh, we just keep on searching our way through, trying to find loot. Here we go. We've got ourselves a revolver. They need it at some point. You never know. And just normal ammo. We'll pick up that as well. Um, now we can. It's just telling us how we can then change the the ammunition just by pressing the V key. Now this is the way out, which I think I'll actually come back to that one later. So let's just um, let's just go back the other way and just see if there's anything else deeper in the in the uh, in where we are. Our health is still a hundred. The stamina is what we're seeing down the bottom there. Now that if I go and start to put, if I right click, I've got my the knife above my head, which allows me to then do a big stab. Um, oh, hang on, no, there's nothing else that way. Okay, no, that is it. Okay, that's fine. Just press C and keep on coming through. And crouch to get underneath these things and through here. And when you get to any of these totems, these bone totems, these will then be how you save the game. So I just press F. You won't find any answers lingering here. Okay, we'll leave it. So that's now a save point. But it, so there's a quest, so I better find someone who can explain the thing, a thing or two to me. So in this case, um, we're just going to have a bit of a look up through here. Uh, there's a journal as well, so if you just press J, that will then give you the journal that you've actually got through there. There's a few different um, fairly useful little things in through there. Now, I don't think there's anything else up in through here. I think that I um, don't think there's any loot to be had in the rest of this particular area. I have uh, tried this a few times because I get killed all the time. Oh, by the way, when you get killed, 
it's not terrible because you're already undead. Now, we need to go down. It's got, it says here to pick up X to select stones to distract enemies, uh, which we may or may not have to do. If we go down, we end up uh, you know, coming to where we have to go. But if we go up this way, we can pick up a bit more loot. So let's just go and do this one. I'll just press, uh, just walk up normally. I'm just pressing space just to jump over. Now, we can't see much, but there is actually some some baddies over there. I'll just press C and just sort of drop our way down into here. Once we're down here, we can't get back up, so just be aware of that. Yep. Nope, he's coming around the other way. This is where the X is important. So just press X to throw a stone. Just press Q. Uh-oh, now we've been seen. Now we're down to 75 health. I'm actually I'm glad I did get damaged a little bit. Let's just elute this one. You don't want to be doing that, but that knife is so much better than the axe. So just um, you know, a bit of a tip if you if you're like me and you're pretty bad at these sort of games. So I was just I tried to stab it, but I couldn't really stab it. Um, and also if they see you and they're doing different things, it's much much harder to uh, like they they've they're a lot more stronger. Just look for loot everywhere. You don't know exactly where you're going to find it. But there's a, bit, a, bit, a little bit of loot back up through here. Now, oh, by the way, when you come down, sometimes you get tips or, or clues as to what else might be around. So if we have a bit of a look over through here. Um, so there's like, there's like a, a, a railway line through there, but we can't see much about that one. That will come into uh, play a bit later on. Uh, I'll just move up through here. If you press shift, you do you run up and you do so. Sprinting is important at different times, um, particularly once they start. Oops, didn't mean to hit it. The the, the um, weapon that you, that you actually have doesn't rust away, so just be aware of that when that's okay. And we're now back down on that path again. So if I come up the hill, that's where we came in. So we've just just done a bit of a loop around. So you don't have to do that loop, and we have now taken a bit of damage, but um, we're okay. So, uh, and again, you can just sort of have a bit of a look over and think, okay, is there anything down there I have to be careful of? Uh, it looks okay. So um, you can sort of see things a little bit in advance. But it's a fun game. I'll just uh, walk normally. Actually, I might just run down through this bit of it because this is the, uh, to the first of the actual proper safe zones. There's, I know there's nothing else back and through this other side. So that's the shaman, the, um, the Indian shaman. Now, I don't know if there's anything else around that other side. I haven't sort of checked in anywhere else. So we then have to talk to the, the shaman. This is a safe zone that we're now in. So we won't be attacked if we, if we come back into here. We can then talk to the shaman. I'll just skip past all of this. You can sort of do it if you're playing the game. But we can trade with the shaman. So the things that we picked up, for example, like these teeth, they're worth five. We've got 50 to start with. So I'm going to get rid of the teeth. Uh, that gives me 55. Here's a, um, this one is a 720. It does cost 70 for that particular knife, which wouldn't be bad. Also, there's silver bullets, which we will need. So let's go and grab those. These The bullets are usually fairly cheap, so it's worth getting those. There's um, chicken heads, which we may need at some point. Uh, got 21 left over. I could sell the uh, the gold nugget for another 50. So that would give me the 70, and this one would be a little bit better. A well-balanced knife, sharp enough to cut through. Now, what's this one worth? It's worth a dollar. <laughs> uh, we can also sell these as well, the notes. So we don't need the notes once we've sort of done it, so we can just uh, sell that one off. 31. Uh, look, I will sell that one off as well, and uh, I'll sell off the gold nugget just by double-clicking on it, and then I'll grab this one as well, just pop that in the, in the slot. So we've got a better knife now. And uh, getting, getting actually, what's that one worth? 700, wow, it's a bone knife. 
Wow. So surprise attacks restore five hit points. That would be cool, actually, to get that one. Um, so certain things with randomization. I have noticed that sometimes these will have different numbers of bullets in them. So there is some slight randomization, but not a hell of a lot. Uh, I can't really afford anything else. I've got 12 bucks left. So um, uh, you have enough experience now to level up. So we just now go to the character screen, which is H. And I tend to find that you, I'm ending up doing... Actually, what's this one? Sneaking is easier for you by 20%. That wouldn't be bad. This is worth two points. Let's go and confirm that one. And maybe fast hands just to get our... Increases melee weapon attack speed by 10%. Confirm that as well. So we're safe in here at the moment. And there's the other one. We just have to keep on coming and talking to these every single time we see them. Because this is where we will respawn in. Now, we are damaged, but this is a safe zone, so there will be a bed here. So I'll just go and uh, press uh, F to, to rest. That way we'll rest up and get all our health back. Now, there's no day-night cycle as such. But you'll do know, but one more thing I needed here. I hope I've got enough money. Can we trade? I've got 12. The map is worth 40. Damn it, I can't get the map. Um, I know my way around this part of it. The map is crucially important. Uh, what's that one worth? That one's worth 11. That one's worth 60. Uh, removal curses. Yeah, this is, to, this is too important to sell. It's only worth 10, the gold coin. Damn it, I really need that map. We're going to have to go and, and loot other things in that case. So we're now healed up. So this is where we come back to heal up. So we'll start to wander down. Now, we're just going to have to loot things for a little while. Now, there's a there's a monster over there. Let's just sneak. I don't think there's any other monsters in around here. And don't come back! Take all. That's another five, I think it is. Some more over there. Yep, some more over there. We'll just sneak around and look for more loot. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's no more loot back up this way. Oh, yes, there is. There's some. Little guys for big jobs. Just look for loot everywhere. It's so important. So it's it's not really a run and gun type game. It's it's still it is a stealth game, uh, but things do go bad. So we were up there before. This is actually where we were looking at before. There's nothing else really down this way so much. I don't think there's anything else down this way. But there's loot all over the map, you know, if you know where to look for it. Now that's in there's a safe up here which you need a key, and I don't I don't know where the key is. This is about as So that's the safe there, you need a key to open it. Now through here, there's more loot, I think. If we're in the darkness, it makes it hard for them to spot us. There's another note. Maybe useful. So we'll have a bit of a read of that. So this one is uh, specific properties of dark magic permeating the, uh, the barren lands remains unknown. The spirits are yet another proof of how little we understand. Okay, so the ethereal nature of spirits makes them less vulnerable to traditional firearms, but silvery ammunition provides itself proved itself to be effective. So we did pick up some silver bullets there before. There's some normal bullets. Now if I stand up, I do have to be careful here. So there's two of them. You can't see us at this stage. discovered us. Rest easy, my friend. 
All right, we're down to 73 again, so didn't quite get what we needed. The time doesn't stop when you've got things open, by the way. So FT will then just take all. Uh, there's a cigar box from memory. I'll just pick up that What's one. This? Don't think there's anything else up in here. Nope. So we've cleared out that. Now um, we're down to 73. I was down to 60 now. So if I press shift, I can then start to just run back up to our safe area. And what you want to do is you don't want to be getting uh, getting killed if you can help it. So just come back into here, just uh, rest. And we won't have enough to sell for what we need. Back up to 100. So F, talk to the shaman. Can we trade? Um, oh, he's got more of this stuff, but... We've got, only got 12, okay, so we can get rid of that for another 15. 27, that was 40, wasn't it, for this one? Hmm, got another 10 there for you. 37, we need three more. Uh, what's that one worth? Three, okay, Rusty Axe is gone, because I don't think I'm going to use it. So let's grab the map. I should have grabbed the map before. So we've now got a map inside what we've got through this other side. If we now press M, we can now see where we are in the chapter or the map, essentially. And so this is the main track through that we have to go, but there's all these little other areas that we need, you know, if we go and finish them off, we're then going to be able to do other things. So let's have a look and see what the next little step is. Um, oh, we're back there again. These are back. I didn't realise that they'd come back. Oh, well, that's interesting. Must be after sleeps. Headshot, take all. They're still there. Okay, they didn't come back. Just that one. Now, there is another whole other area down in here, which, um, if we look at our map, it's sort of not really on the map, but it's actually like a hidden area. So we'll just have a quick look at this one. I'll stop sort of playing fairly soon. It's a different type of uh, of nasty. He normally has loot, so no loot for either of those. And so we're now in a whole other sort of hidden area in the actual game itself, um, where there's all sorts of stuff going on everywhere. Um, let's go this side and just see if there's anything else we can sort of see. Sometimes you'll see clues further down. Making noise where it's being picked up. All right, we can loot that one, take all. So it's sort of this is really the way that you play it. I mean, they, you've got the guns as well, but um, I've find it sort of more useful to do it this way. Let's press E. Done and dusted. So my 
one just here. Much harder. Down to 70 odd again. Oh, jeez. FT, I'm not even looking at what we pick up now. <laughs> so it's a matter of clearing out all this stuff. Looking for loot. Here's some gold nuggets. Just press F and take that one. Nothing else in through here. So we're under the under the map now, in like a hidden area. Way. Looks like it extends on. I'll just have a quick look in through here for any sort of loot. In fact, I just saw looks like something flashed up through there. Just stand up. I think we were up there before. Again, we just have a look at the map. So we're sort of now underneath where we were with the um, uh, where the train was. Let's just keep on sneaking. So to heal back up, we would need to go back up to the shaman. What I might do is I might just show what happens when you actually get killed. If I can find something here, we've already been here. I've already been in here as well. Been everywhere in here. Looks like I have, doesn't it? I came out this way. This is the way I came in. And then above here was the way that we just had a bit of a look. So, oh, here we go. Here, yeah, pick up the silver mug. Yeah, we were here before. We're already here. Oh, there's another another note. So, by crouching, I was missing all these things. So, um, I have a quick read of this one. So, um, unlike the animated dead men, the miner remains more human appearance. It, it uh, usually still wears clothes, or at least some, uh, still their tatters, and carries a pickaxe. So it is most intriguing that the miners still carry gold with them. Perhaps it is a, a particular a particular effect of rigor mortis. In their final moments, their minds are so fixated on treasures that they continue to cling to their precious possessions out of habit. Uh, I didn't, we haven't found any gold on them yet, actually. I mean, we've actually no, we haven't. We've only we've got two gold nuggets, but that wasn't found on the actual dead. Um, unless there's other things that they drop. Nothing there. I won't go back for it, but I have noticed sometimes there's little little bags in the ground. You can pick them up. So we went, we went right. That's the way out. That's where we came in. And now we just go this way. I'll just keep this stealth happening. Okay, there's units that are sort of half near us. go, you had gold. Let's go to the, um, the actual gun. Let's make sure there's nothing in around there. I lay thee to rest. So we just blow his head off.
reload. They don't. It doesn't trigger things unless they're sort of a long way away. So the headshots are better than anything. Um, nothing on that one. No loot. Let's just look around again. Have a bit of a look down this area. Ooh, there's some loot in there. Alas, it's never enough. Got two of them coming up. If we can get surprise attacks. over there. Okay, we got him in the end. Uh, we're down to 35. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is one of these little bags. Could never have too much of those. So that goes up the top. Yep, a bit of loot up and through here as well. Whatever gets the job done. Nothing there. I'll, get, I'll kill myself off so you can sort of see what actually happens when that happens. Um, actually, we killed, we killed him off. <laughs> Here's some more. Oh, headshot. Speed run time. in here. God, we are doing a speed run. I'll just get myself killed. Should be something better than all this in here, I would have thought. Nothing else for us. Oh, here we go. Been now. Nothing else in there. Nothing in here. All right, we're coming back outside again. Now we're down to very very small numbers. I show you I showed you how to sort of heal up before. There's nothing else there. Where the hell are we? Let's have a look at the map. 
So we're back over near where we were before. Like we've sort of come all the way around. In fact, that's it. That's where we were. <laughs> so um, I'll just try to find someone to kill me off. Um, I'll just run across here. Oh, I know where there's some up this way. Yeah, some at the end here. Back just around this corner. Here we go. Hello? And stay down. There's two there. So now we are in the canyon, basically, sort of over towards this canyon. So it's quite a big map. There we go. So we get killed. Now, what's important about being killed is, and I want to start off or we'll finish this off here. So you receive a soul floor. Um, you receive one upon every death. Uh, when you gather three, they will turn into a horrible curse. You can resist the effects of the soul floor using potions and artifacts. So when we dismiss it, um, if we go and have another look, we start off back in here because this is really the, you know, the last place that we, um, the, our last safe area. We come back in fully healed, but notice how we've now got this, um, the, um, the skull, the, sorry, the brain with one of three problems, a potential curse. If we now go and press H, which is our character screen, we can then see that we're now incompetent. So your, your experience gaining speed is um, you're slowed by 5%. This effect will become more severe once the curse is complete. So we've got three deaths before we then have a full curse. Now we can get rid of curses a number of different ways. If I go back into my inventory, that's where this one here. Um, so this one here should actually uh, removes all curses and soul flaws, allows removal of curse artifacts. So we don't want to use it yet. So we'd probably sort of keep that one back where it actually is. We don't lose our inventory or anything crazy like that. Whoops. So it's sort of it's not terrible when you die, particularly if you find those purple um, those purple potions. But that's sort of where we end up. Now we didn't ever, ever have a look up here, did we? I'm not sure if there's anything up there or not. There's stuff hidden everywhere in this. Looks like we've still got that other unit there is dead. So anyway, that's um, that is uh, the game. That is uh, Blood West. I, um, if you, like, as I say, I don't generally play these like type of games, but I do enjoy them. Um, so this is the only way to pause the game. By the way, is just to literally press escape <laughs> and come out of the screen. But it's uh, it's a cool game. So if you uh, if you're into these sorts of stealthy type you know, looking for loot everywhere. There's no randomization really, so it's not a, it's not my usual sort of random type game. But I do it. I like. I was impressed with these. Like when when I was reading the, um, you know, what people thought of the game, uh, I thought that was actually a good thing. And um, then it was actually offered it to me. And I, I was thinking, well, why they offered it to me? Because it's not my type of game. But I actually did really quite. I do really quite like it. So anyway, this is. Um, Blood West, and with the uh, with the third of the um, of their chapters coming out, so we were just starting the first chapter there with that particular map. But it's really well done. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.